to another episode of Frightfully Forgotten Horror Movies, Halloween Special. The Patreon request from Andy Riggs. Two Halloween TV specials, both from the 70s. Yeah. 1979's The Halloween That Almost Wasn't, a.k.a. The Night Dracula Saved the World. The Night Dracula Saved the World makes no sense at all. Saved Halloween, maybe. Maybe. Yeah, but... <laughs> no, not the world. Judd Hirsch is in this. I think we all know him from Serpico. Maybe, maybe <laughs> Taxi. I don't know. Oh, really? Who's in that? <laughs> or Independence Day. Uh, yeah, that's right, too. Yeah. Marriott Hartley's in this. She was in the original Star Trek series, and she was in The Incredible Hulk. Henry Gibson is in this. He was that Nazi leader guy in the Blues Brothers. Yeah, uh, the Burbs. Yeah, with yeah. the Dr. Klopak or whatever. <laughs> I love that movie. The Halloween that almost wasn't starts off with Judd Hirsch doing his best Bela Lugosi. Igor is sitting there with popcorn watching TV. And yeah. there's this newscast saying there's a rumor that Halloween isn't going to happen tonight. What? Mm -hmm. What rumor? And apparently the Dracula is behind this rumor. Well, he's Dracula. He didn't start the rumor, so calls all the monsters into his castle for a meeting yeah. about this rumor that Halloween isn't going to happen. Kind of like a mob meeting yeah. or something almost. <laughs> and all the monsters are all cheap and lame, <laughs> like that, that wolfman guy. He's yeah. just some guy painted gray or whatever. Some and... beard, he all sucks. <laughs> Frankenstein comes in, he's all goofy doing yeah. this dance With routine. those big those boots. Of course, the big boots. And... I like the fact that there is a Haitian zombie, though. Yeah. It's pretty cool, because they never talk about Haitian zombies no, anymore. No, but he's the king of the zombies, yeah, he's though. Yeah, mummy comes in. That's got to be one of the worst-looking mummies <laughs> just <laughs> seen in my life. They didn't even try, really. <laughs> and then there is the witch. It was actually the witch who started these rumors, refuses to ride her broomstick across the moon right? to kind of signify it's Halloween. And she will do this. But she's got a list of demands. Taking over the merchandising, yeah. right? Because most of like the t-shirts have Dracula's face yeah. on and stuff. Uh, let, let go of the merchandising. <laughs> yeah. To them, an unrealistic list yeah. that he, they have to make up for. Dracula doesn't want to cave. He yeah. will not cave on any of these. Halloween and the history of it slowly gets explained throughout, right? To like the kids while they're watching this newscast, right? Yeah, by the, the parents. Yeah. yeah. It's supposed to be somewhere in Transylvania, but they're just these American people. They're not even trying to put on like a European accent. They all force Igor to go outside to try and get through a window and he, sw yeah, he yeah. swings in, he just opens the door and he swings out. <laughs> Poor Dracula does relent on the whole list of demands. The kids also convince her and they, they tell her that they love her the most. Yeah, and I want to be just like you. Yeah, yeah. so she's got a bit of a soft spot for it, I guess, and she does do her yeah. trip over the moon, right? But Dracula still has to <laughs> capitulate to the terms, That's right? right, and one of them was... The disco dance. <laughs> this is something we'd never seen before. It didn't air where we live, it's more of a Disney Channel thing that aired in the 80s and 90s. We didn't have Disney Channel. I guess maybe if you had satellite here, yeah. you'd probably get it. But we never watched it, so it wasn't something that's a nostalgic thing we grew up with. We went in completely clean. So I watched it for the first time, and I was like, oh, this is, <laughs> oh, like, the, ooh, it's not too good. And I, you know, I kept thinking, I don't like my monsters to be this silly. Like, I, don't, yeah. I, 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 I like, I like silly. I like, you know, House of Frightenstein silly. This morning I watched it before we shot this and it's like, okay, it kind of grew on me even after a second watching. Okay, now that I know what it is. Yeah, yeah. Then you can start to appreciate, you know, it's just a fun little half hour little thing. Like, what can you do in a half hour, really? It's, exactly. You're, you're limited and obviously you had a limited budget and stuff. So, you know, for what it is, I guess it's not bad. Yeah, like you, you have to take it for what it is. It's geared towards kids, yep. right? So of course it's not gonna have some huge budget and you know big production value. Okay, you can give them a pass. Yeah, pretty haphazardly put together. I think even if I was a kid watching this back in the '80s and stuff, I don't think it would be really my cup of tea. I, I don't think so either. You know, one thing I can say about <laughs> it: it is educational. Mm -hmm. It talks about the history of Halloween and the whole kind of message at the end, like, okay, we love you for who you are. It's got a good message behind yeah, it. Yeah, it's right? got a good message. 
message behind it. I can get behind the comedy. Tonight, I wish I was dead and stayed dead. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then, of course, like the disco dancing. Well, that's just funny. So that moves us forward to Halloween is Grinch Night. 1977. The same vein as the Christmas special. Of course, the Grinch, and he wants to come down into Whoville and sort of steal their night, making his way down yeah. that mountain, that right? big mountain, and then the boy that's like taking it upon himself to go and stop the Grinch. Compare quality of the previous one we just mentioned. Well, this is top notch. Mm -hmm. The animation is top notch. The songs are great, but it doesn't really have anything to do with Halloween, really. It's no. not. It's Halloween in name only. It's more of a fall time. It's October, kind of, yeah. you know, a whole, yeah. the whole month of October kind of thing. They do a really good job of, like, for a cartoon, still making it very atmospheric. I can watch this at the start of October, yeah. no problem. Yeah, it's, you know, they don't make them like this anymore. As nonsensical as it is, like, <laughs> you know, there's about this much story <laughs> and this much nonsense and right. jibber-jabber and songs <laughs> that don't have anything to do with anything, but... It's still an entertaining watch, and it, it is an artistic piece, you know? Exactly, it's a piece yeah. of art. The Halloween that almost wasn't is more of a Halloween thing. I get right. more of that Halloween vibe, like it's a better Halloween thing. But it's l much lesser. Yeah. It's, it's worse. Yeah. Much, much, much worse. worse. Yeah. <laughs> In quality. Give them both a watch. It's, it's a whole half hour each, well, 24 minutes. Yeah out of your life to watch something that's a piece of Halloween history. Halloween is Grinch Night is perfect to get Halloween rolling. Yeah. Then you can watch Halloween that almost wasn't closer to Halloween because it's about Halloween almost not happening. Exactly. Yeah. yeah. And we're glad it did. Yeah. On that note, some other Halloween specials we enjoy. I just watched it today. It came on YouTube right after I was re-watching the Halloween that almost wasn't and that was the Garfield Halloween <laughs> right. special. i would never seen it before. <laughs> and it was tons of fun. It was so fun. Funny and witty and kind of creepy too, right? Like there's this old man in this chair telling them the story. He's super creepy looking and you know, Lorenzo Music's deadpan delivery of Garfield is just so good. The cartoon itself, the animation is meant for kids, but the dialogue and it's all written for adults. Yeah. Right? Yeah. It's... Obviously, you have Charlie Brown, right? I don't like Charlie Brown. Neither do I, but Fucking it's lame. The Amazing Stories segment. One with Christopher Lloyd was on in the 80s, where he plays this teacher, and these kids, they, like, cast a spell on him. There's a lot of good Halloween specials. It's kind of a thing that doesn't really, with cable TV kind of gone by the wayside, you don't yeah. get these kind of, like, little kind of neat Halloween specials anymore. You used to get in the 70s and 80s and even 90s, right? Yeah, there, there's nothing really... Um, randomly nostalgic for kids anymore right. that you can just kind of have on yeah. in the background from cable. You yeah, just like, catch something. Like back right? in the day, like you mentioned, the Sleepy Hollow one. Um, yeah, yeah. well that was on all the time, yeah. those Disney ones. I'd always call it the, the Disney Ghostbusters. Goofy and Daffy and Mickey. And they're kind yes. of like going to go bust some That's ghosts. That's right, in the mansion. And so we were lucky to have like a lot of random shit yeah. that was part of like pop culture history. So uh, that's our little dive into some made for TV Halloween specials. And until next time, keep drinking.